right, so mine mergy. That's not good. Oh, son of a bat! Oh, what the fuck? Can't get a beat on. What the hell is that? Hello, everyone. OBG here. And welcome back. I know it's been a while since uh, I have had a series out. Uh, or even much at all on the YouTube channel, channel and I do apologize for that. Um, I, it's a, you know, the the pandemic's been really hard on everybody, and the isolation and uh, talking to myself got to me for a while, and I just kind of needed a break and, and took one for mental health and uh, came back reinvigorated and thought I would come back to where it all started, uh, XCOM Enemy Within. Uh, with the Long War Rebalance mod, uh, was my first streaming adventure. Uh, some friends on the channel encouraged me to do it because there wasn't enough content out there for it, and they wanted more, and so I did it, and I got into streaming, got into content creating, and even though I'm still a micro minnow in the entire content creation world, um, I do appreciate everyone that comes to the channel, um, and I appreciate the subscriptions and the likes and the comments and, and everything that uh, really keeps me going from day to day. Uh, when I wake up in the morning and uh, there's a new sub or there's a comment, uh, I, it just really makes my day and really cheers me up uh, and makes work much, that much better and excited to get to the end of the day so I can make more content. And so we are starting on Long War. We are on 1.34.16. We are playing on Classic with reduced beginner voiceover, uh, progeny and slingshot. No Iron Man because it's still very questionable what we're doing. Um, a, we don't know what we're doing. And, and B, uh, it is a work in progress uh, mod. And uh, we don't really want to break that. Uh, playing not so long war, so this doesn't take forever with aiming angles to make it interesting and with fresh recruits so we get who knows what. Uh, and we are off. So I have a vague plan in my head of what I'm going to do with my soldiers, and we'll talk about that when we get there. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing with my, uh, what do you call it, uh, mechs or psi. Uh, I will probably Psy Rush just because I kind of like it. Um, so, I think we're going... So, Cadre is interesting. You get five Corporal Soldiers and all active fatigue soldiers gain three XP a day, which is significant, um, you know, over a year-long campaign, uh, but not really critical. Our research focus uh, is not something we're going to do. I think we're going to go Advanced Prep because it gives us all the elevators, one workshop, one lab, one fission generator, tons and tons of energy you've got a lot of things already built uh so i think we're going to try that and see how that goes uh, it also gives us north america for aircraft uh discount which is very important because aircrafts are very very expensive if you don't remember very expensive so operation heartless fate will begin this campaign and we'll see how this goes I have not played this in a long time. I did read the patch notes, and there's a lot of stuff in there. Some of it says balance. Some of it says nerf. Some of it says, uh, you know, buff. Uh, you know, who really knows? When, you have, when you're have, when you not playing the game, it's really hard to tell uh, what it is exactly that you're dealing with. All right, so we're dropping us in the corner here, which is great. Let's go ahead and run the shiv up here to see if we find anybody. No? How about... Now, hmm. hold on a second, I don't have any sound in my ear. That's because it's not coming into my ear. Oh, there it is. Now I have sound. All right. That's better. It might, it might matter at some point. Who knows? All right, let's go ahead and run everybody up. Find us some good spots. Thanks, dude. I wanted the close-up window break. All right. And let's go. It's a really stupid plan to move up to the furthest advantage without... So they're going to be out back, probably. 
So let's go take a look here. Alright. So let's line it up at the door. Ten four. And we'll breach out the door next turn. Um, so longboard rebalance does not allow Overwatch camping at the same level that other thing, uh, the, some of the other games do. Um, you cannot Overwatch unless you have sight of someone, and the only people that you can shoot are the ones that sound like sectoids over there. Eyes open, everyone. Got it. Um, you can't. The only people you can shoot with Overwatch are the ones that you were in your vision originally. All right, so why don't you move to here? Really? All right, well, there's a meld up here. And there they are. Found them. Two, three, one's inside. All right, that's all we got. All right, so somebody needs to kill this guy. Let's go here. What do you got? 18%? How about an HE? That looks good. Throwing grenade. Oh, he got blown up. Alright, uh, you can get right behind him. Okay. What do you got? 39, 13. Alright, 39 is not bad. Let's see what else we end up with. Uh, so you're going to have to either go here or to the top of the roof. I like the roof plan because you can hit that thing there. Got it. Moving. Well, you have a scatter move, but that's fine. We're not going to be using that. Um, Alright, what we're going to do, we're going to move you into Let's cover move. here. It'll give you a flank on that guy, force him to maybe move, and bring you up to here. Oh, you don't get a shot at all if you do that, so let's go to here then. Alright, and you are not going to do anything. Uh... How do I skip turn? Is it? I think it's the in button. Yeah. Used to be a little interaction thing over here that showed you what to do, but I don't remember now. All right, that wasn't really the guy I wanted you to shoot. I mean, it's a good shot, but that wasn't who I wanted you to shoot. Not unhappy that you hit him. And this guy is going to run back towards his friends, who are probably over there, apparently. Okay. Uh. Alright, there's another one there and another one there. Alright. That's fine. Yes, sir. Let's see if we can find anybody in here. We can. Here. Oh, shit. Son of a biscuit eater. That is four guys in a really bad spot for me. Shit on a stick. Alright, you go there. So, yeah, this is not anything good. Nothing at all good here. We'll go. All right, let's go get this. Been secured. And go here. All right. The problem is there's a guy here and a guy over here. So if I, I need, so here's the plan. All right. Oh, you're Overwatch, so you're not going to get a, you're not going to get a move. All right. Uh... So plan is to run to over here. And you take the overwatch. Heading take out. the spot here and the overwatch. Alright. Oh, son of a bat! Oh, what the fuck? Can't get a beat on what the hell is that? And, and there's an injury, and I don't know what the fuck is happening right now. Alright. Alright, so... Let's 
17 is not good. And it's a miss. Alright, we have a problem now. Alright, you... So there's no way I have to go around to get in there, which isn't really that bad of an idea, but it's not good either. Fuck me. I have made a horrible mistake here. Alright. Um. Well. Let's do this. How far can you get? Not that far, but you can get this far. So here's the plan. We're going to blow up the truck. Out. Nope, just going to blow him up, but that's fine. Blowed up is good. Yes, Alright. So there's a dude over there that's probably going to come around the corner, but I don't know if he will or not. Moving to position. Oh, fuck. There's all four of them still standing right there. Alright, well, I can't get that very far. 10, 26, 26, 13. Alright. So you are going to go here. Bring you right into the middle of it. I'm gonna try to see if you can keep that guy away. All right, good. I just need to hit him not to run towards the other dudes. Oh, he did. Fuck, you saw me anyways. All right, well that was bad. There's a 31% miss. That's okay though. There's fucking five of them there. The hell, dude? They're like, there's more that could fit in the fucking window. They're gonna shoot my goddamn melts. What's gonna happen? It's a fucking mind merge party. Oh, and a sly panic to go with it. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Suck it! All right. Uh. One of you has to kill this dude, right? All right, you're gonna go here. All right, take the shot. I don't think you're gonna hit him. Nope. All right. Over here, we have issues. All right, let's start with that. And then we are gonna blow up a whole bunch of these dudes. Watch this. Watch this. Ow. Stop, stop shooting me. Throwing grenade. <laughs> All right. Aye, aye, so one guy left over here. And that one's dead. And let's get ourselves into some cover around here. I don't know where that's going to be. I'm on the move. And why don't you go to here? Find a motor. All right. That was a good shot by the shiv. We missed, but highly accurate. All right. You have no ammo. You do have ammo. And you have ammo of a major kind. Alright. We'll go. Let's go right here. 56er. He is not dead. Uh why don't you go ahead and heal yourself up?
you're going to take that corner there, and you're going to take this corner... I think you're going to stay right where you are, and you're going to take this corner right here with no ammo. Oh, and he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Got all three canisters. All right. Welcome to XCON HQ, Commander. Thank you very much. All right, so... So the dude didn't take... So that's something new they added. They added an injury mechanic. Um, so he didn't take any hit point damage. It only hit shield. It only hit his ablative armor. Never got to his hit points. But because it was a hard enough hit and a big enough percentage, there's a chance, apparently, that he can get hit. And he did. And he's in the med bay for 12 days now. So... The recovered artifacts are being unloaded, uh, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the Probably order not order. great that I blew up so many sectoids, because, well, you know, now I don't have them. Commander to uh, Commander to let's go with uh, Xenobiology. I Had enough to do that, at least. Alright. So we've got an uplink, a workshop, a fission generator, lab, blah, 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 blah. Uh, let's go ahead and clear this out. And probably you don't have much money for that. So we're gonna do a four X block, a six X block, a six X block, and then other shit. So we'll just wait for the other shit to happen. Uh, nothing to build at this point. We're not gonna buy uh, motion trackers. Pats of detection of target and ally units. Detected units, items are shown via on screen radar. Allies are colored blue. Blah, 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 blah. Max one per unit and equipable by shivs only. So shivs can do passive detection now. Okay. Let's give that a try. See how those work. All right. Every uh, member of the council is going to want satellite coverage. So we should plan our deployments carefully. All right. So let's look at our soldiers. Uh, these are the five that went on the mission, and the one and the ones that got the with fatigued control. ones as well. Commander to mission control. Why are does everybody get five lieutenant corporals now? I thought what I chose gave me did not give me five lieutenant corporals, but I have them anyways. All right, let's take a look at these things. So our options are a infantry or an assault. So I like my assaults to be uh, tanks because they're up front anyways and they're fast and that kind of thing. Um, so I generally like them to be whatever they are. They're low aim guys and these are high aim guys. So this guy's 70 aim. He's going to be an infantry. All right. So the options for infantry, you can basically go uh, boomies with grenadier. Uh, you can go Overwatch or you can go Tank. So I don't know what we're going to do yet. We'll leave this one open and decide. So his Tank, his his Boom op, boom options are really good. Um, uh, he's got Grenades. Um, he's got uh, Mayhem, which grants uh, extra damage to Grenades, I believe. It used to. Plus 50% weapon damage to Grenades. Uh, he's also got Impact. Uh... He has nothing but he can first aid there, I guess. I don't know. Nothing else really matters. The ranger, so he can carry a, a, a pistol and do something good. Um, all right. So he's a pretty. Sh he's got Packmaster and Mayhem. Those are his two Grenadier perks, along with Grenadier. So I'm not sure that's great. I generally like them to be a Sentinel. I um, mean, he's got lock and load at, at, at Corporal as well, so he's going to just lock and load, Overwatch, uh, Sentinels, two shots, grants opportunists to bypass cover, DR, and gain the ability to crit. Um, so I think that's what we're going to be doing with those guys. So these will be the high aim and Overwatch. All right. Next up. All right. So you have scouts and snipers. Um... There's just no way not to take 
high aim snipers. I don't think there's anything you can do with a sniper that is not high aim. Um, snapshot build, I mean, all the different builds, strike, strike, strike rifle build, etc. Um, they're all, they all require you to be able to shoot. They're just shooters. That's all they are. So we're going to have to go scouts with the low aim. And, um, if we're going low aim, uh, we can either go smoke and mirrors, uh, snapshot, or hit and run. Uh, first shot is zero AP, deals plus 35% damage. And subsequent action cannot use weapons or equipment. All right, snapshot is no Overwatch and smoke and mirrors. Uh, to go with smoke and mirrors, he has Packmaster Corporal. Uh, he has disabling shot as well here. Um, he's got concealment. He's got uh, shadow step, not to trigger mobility if he has to move. Um, and he's got first aid, so he's really not a great. He doesn't have so engineers and medics have the special smokes uh, that they throw. Um, so it's not great. Snapshot, he's not gonna be able to hit anything with snapshot. Hit and runs not bad. Then damage disoriented or suppressed this turn, so it's not exposed. Really, what I want to do is I want to do a hit and run and smoke and mirrors. I want to do the combo, but that's not going to work. Um, maybe if I made them so their will growth is 10, aim growth is 10, and mo no movement growth, and no. Uh, Alright. I guess you have to be support. That's the only thing you can really do. Like, do you have a purpose now? Maybe as a, just a legit scout, I guess, huh? All right, smoke and mirrors it is. So do we really have two support builds then? Like, I don't know. I don't really like this at all. Um, all right, so we can go low aim medics, high aim engineers. Engineers can do, can be our mechanical killers and medics obviously are medics. So 63 is low enough. All right. So our options with the medic, we can go a shooty medic, but we're going low aim on him. Uh, if we went mechanic, we could do we could do engineer boomies. Let's do that. Let's do engineer boomies, medic shooties. Um, so medics do have will survive, extra conditioning, uh, combat drugs, ready for anything, for savior. Um, TCS, Close Encounters, and, uh, so I kind of like, I kind of like the idea of also making them support. I mean, their growth is 10 aim, 10 will, so, I mean, mechanics grow more will, so they're actually better, better size anyways. Maybe make these guys officer candidates? I don't know. But I, I feel like you're just wasting your time if the medics Commander aren't. To mission control. Uh, Commander to mission control. Yeah, I feel like that's just, you gotta go smoke a beer. because you they don't have enough, their aim growth is only 10, so they're not gonna have enough to really shoot anything. But then again, you get Sentinel, gets Opportunist, you gain crit, you gain bypass cover DR. Um... So I. Commander to mission control. Let's Commander try him as a shooter. Control. Let's try him as a shooter. I don't think it's going to work very well. Actually, no. Let's go back to this. Let's go smoke and mirrors. All right, we're going to make support medics again. Um, sucks, but that's all you can. That's all I really think I can do with them. All right. So here's an interesting discussion. So you got rocketeers, and who have ten aim, ten will, Commander four hit points. Control. And you've got gunners who have 5 aim, 5 will, 4 hit points. I really like suppression. I think it's very, very important to have a good suppression suppression in the game. Um, so I think I go low aim suppression, high aim rocketeers. Uh, 66 is technically low, so we'll go here. Um, and then he'll get mayhem. And they'll just be suppression gunners, and we'll go with that. Uh, next up... All right, 53, you will be one of our first tanks, and will it survive? 
tank assault, even though hit and run assaults are fucking amazing. Don't get me wrong. Alright, what else did we get down here? New guys. Alright. So, 67. So we said support medics, so it's being shooty engineers. Alright, so we're going to be going double tap with them. Uh, double tap into uh, bring them on. Into probably bullseye, master mechanic, um, lock and load, and uh, EC. Just pure shooty. So the engineer, the engineer boom tree is so good. You got grenadier. You've got uh, danger zone uh, increases uh, the radius and damage of explosives by one. So you got extra explosive, extra radius, um, warheads plus four penetration to explosives. Um, then you've got. Uh, Packmaster for an extra one, or Sapper for double environmental, and you've got Tandem Warheads, which uh, do full damage and plus, so they're really, really good explosive guys. Like, super good. Um, that may actually change my decision. I may actually end up with Boomy Engineers and Medics that shoot. Because uh, they're just so good at it. So good at it. Alright, this guy is going to be a Rocketeer. So we're going to make him, I mean, he comes in, 10 aim, 10 will, 4 hit point growth. Um, we can go explosives with him. I think we're going to go shooty with him. And we'll go explosives with the, with the engineers. Uh, the shooty here uh, gives them, light them up. Uh, you can also go grenadier, smoke and mirrors if you wanted to on rocketeers. Uh, rocketeers have a lot of options here. They get bombard, um, hollow. So we're going to go uh, light them up, hollow. And uh, EC fragmentation, um, probably shock at all, and just for the extra rocket and make them useful in longer missions. One of the problems with them is you don't have any any use for them in short missions or in long missions because they can't have any reusabilities. All right, so this is going to be a scout for do whatever scout does. Uh, let's go and get another gunner. And a another gunner. All right. So we are geared up, and let's go look at what's a coming. All right. Construct alien containment targeting module available, and do the sectoid autopsy. We could do alien weaponry. Let's go ahead and do this. Well, that's not gonna do us any good, really. Xenogenetics. It gives us meld, biocybernetics, genetics lab. Uh, let's just go for alien, alien weaponry. Gives us shiv advancements. And we scan again, and we go do 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 do. We're gonna get our first our first UFO coming in. Are they coming? Nope. You want meld? Sure. And Australia is where the first alien base is. Yeah. All right. Alien weaponry is done now too. And now we're gonna go, you know, now we're gonna go and do the sectoid autopsy. Get it out of the way. We're out of things to research at this point. Alright. Here comes our first aircraft. Oh, I forgot to change these. Alright. We're gonna send them up mid. I meant to change those over to stingrays. I like to run stingrays at the start of the game on uh, them because they shoot one big missile right at the beginning. And. Your accuracy, if you go lead, is pretty good, and you can often take him down without taking any damage whatsoever. See, now I've already taken damage on this guy. All right, well he's down. Lightly damaged. Everybody claps. Everybody's happy. All right. So before we do this, let's go. Uh, 
to here and switch up our aircraft into stingrays. So they're 45% uh, 45%, 45 accuracy at the front. So you send two guys with 245s, you know, and you're a pretty good shot at taking down that guy without even a shot. And if it, if it misses, you have to wait till the end and get another shot in, but still. All right. So let's gear this thing up, and this will be our mission when we come back. So it's an eight-man. Uh, if I remember correctly, the third spot leads us off. So we'll bring out the shiv into the third spot. And we're going to go ahead and send... Uh, let's send all the rookies out. Just go and get them going. It should be an intro mission. It shouldn't be too bad. We're going to send all rookies... Clicked off the side of the screen again. You would think I would know how to not to do that by now. And we're really just trying to get everybody off of base numbers here. And let's take a look at this guy. So we're going to give you tactical armor, assault rifle, an HE grenade, and a alien trophy as your as your default. So that's going to be our loadout, and we're going to give everybody that. And it's just really nice not to have any panics or with rookies going out, and you have the HE to throw if you need to. And this is where we will pick up next episode. Thank you very much, everyone, for stopping by. I am really excited to be back and playing XCOM again and playing Long War Rebalanced and sharing all this with everybody out there. And I hope you enjoy this series as much as I do. And OBGM.